ஓகே ஸோ ஹே தேங்க்ஸ் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் ஜானிங் த ஸ்கிரீன் ஷேர் த ரெக்கார்டிங் இஸ் ஆன் ஆன் குட் ஓகே கைஸ் பி சைலண்ட் ஸோ ஐம் ஷண்முகல் சங்கரன் ஃபவுண்டர் ஆஃப் ஃபிக்ஸ்னிக்ஸ் so we are in the governance risk and compliance business so why we got into governance risk and compliance business is what we are going to try to discover but before that i'll try to give a small summary for 10 minutes to see how we can uh, kind of catch up our uh, journey whatever we have taken so the journey what we have taken back we started why did we kind of got into this space and how how it has helped us come here all of that we'll try to do and so that uh, i'll be staying on top of so i think uh, the very important recognition what we have got throughout our journey is rsa innovation sandbox rsa is our competition they run a separate entity called rsa conference but as part of that uh, rsa conference entity they they have recognized us for most top uh, innovative startup of asia so vignesh you want to join vignesh rashmi uh, grc you cannot ask okay you are hearing okay cool so RSA Innovation Sandbox is important recognition that the competition who is selling the same products for multi million dollar is able to empathize that somebody is trying to disrupt the same industry we are trying to do it for probably 10000 dollar or 15000 dollar one by 10th price point they are able to empathize the uh, this the attempt what we are the journey what we are trying to pursue and democratization what we are trying to do and a uh, lot of other organizations like microsoft ibm nascom data security council of india national level also helped us uh, prove to the ciso community or the sec- uh, risk security communities that we are in the right journey that we are building a product to enable their business process to automate their business process risk audit automation so that's what it is and uh, i think the recent case uh, walmart case is a great example walmart i think yesterday the uh, ceo has resigned finally uh, he was questioned by the senator ms warren some time back for letting 5000 employees some do some goof up so 5000 employees create fraudulent uh, bank accounts uh, where there is no real customers yes well well sorry yeah it's a well sorry yeah well sorry so that the, the ceo got questioned by the american mp senator swaran okay where in america this all these things are gov- government takes active interest in the way businesses are doing business it's not a kind of a little lukewarm way of doing like in india where they they are very serious government gets the assembled committees all, all of them need to be answerable to the senate okay so she was in pointing the ceo why he, he has not resigned which he has done after uh, two weeks of that yesterday okay so she was asking this question why i am talking about the wells fargo story she was asking this question do you guys have a complaints team in place do you guys have a complaints uh, team in place whether they work really speaking this is the exact question she asked so if they have a complaint team if they have some products if they have tools if they have a complaints processes this wouldn't have occurred is what her point was so that 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 tells a very important of the product what we are trying to build we are trying to build a product which is supposed to automate the governance this complaints all these business processes of all these large banks or any regulated industries forget banks it's all regulated industry pharma uh, health care any insurance any regulated industry see if they are in some regulated industry they should follow so even automotive is to some extent this is regulated industry so tesla of the world they are trying to say we are going to release automotive cars the automotive cars how many people it can hit in case of some of the program can go up so they also have a lot of automotive complaints which they need to follow up. so every regulated industry has complaints they need to follow up have a complaints processes teams tools everything in place leaders they should, that should be a chief risk officer complaints officer audit officer they are a matured organization in pharma banking space they will have these roles in place coming back to this uh, if if they spend $1 on complaints they can save $5 on lowering their legal label for example if wells uh, fargo has paid a million dollar or 500 million dollar as fine if they have spent a million dollar setting up their complaints team rightly in place so they would have saved this much. this is what uh, can help them uh, by investing rightly on complaints and we came into existence to build democratize this gs industry 
where it can help any size enterprise which can go live quickly with the intuitive product there are four important thesis rational behind it democratization is the stuff what we are trying to do it's a business model disruption grc as an industry it is there in place for 12 years we are not discovering grc industry we are not doing any invention here we are not discuss uh, inventing some new automotive car something iot no no rockets yet. we are not doing any rockets yet. we are not sending something to mars grc is a very age old industry it's not a hugely crowded industry it's a very nice security process or compliance process industry where we are trying to democratize first place the already existing players there are 100 players there are good 10 20 players who are very large in size who are in the leader quadrant of gartners there are a lot of followers in the multiple other quadrants what everybody is trying to do is go up piece the fortune 100 fortune 500 market we have come out of the fortune 100 500 we are thinking there is a fortune 100 in india there is a fortune 500 in india why not these guys are not served with the product on the likes of archer on the likes of metric see is the journey what we are doing does reliance need this product yes does sipla need this product yes does uh, whatever all the indian even mammoth need this product which uh, they right now they manage it through the manual excel and outlook on all these processes which is what this is happening and uh, the uh, along with the democratization another key is enterprise of any size we want to help enterprise of any size that's a very thesis for the saas software saas offering we are trying to start with something 50 dollar or 500 dollar whatever we have not discovered the price we don't know the price okay we are in the discovery journey let's accept it and let's let's tell our customers we are trying to provide the service for whatever they are paying with a, with a very premium uh, service because the the competition is like one by 10 or one by 100 for that matter okay we are selling it for 5000 dollar to a bank giving some two or three products they will not be able to even dream uh, indian bank cannot go dream getting an arch touching your talk talking even to our archer consultant by spending 5000 they need to spend even 5000 dollar for the consulting what archer is going to provide we are certainly game for a large disruption journey which we have started i think any says and go going like quickly into to all this comes because of the the delivery model what we are trying to make which is the cloud and other stuff okay so under the mission what we have is try to see how we can build a easy to adopt scalable affordable grc product for information security teams so that's what it is so these are the products i think thanks to mari for building this and uh, thanks to gulshan for visualizing this so uh, these are the new analytics products what we have got uh, built in the recent times or we are trying to pursue a serious journey towards it um, i'll i'll come to the point where why analytics and uh, grc are connected in first place i'll talk about it little later but we are trying to pursue journey in risk analytics space the risk analytics is for supply chain predicting the risks coming in the insurance space predicting the risks of the hr domain and predicting the risks of talent acquisition which is nothing but analyzing the resumes and the broker analytics rogue trader analytics in the investment banking domain all of these are risks for investment banking hr teams large corporates and insurance companies supply chain companies there are huge amount of risks for all of these companies existence which is what we are trying to predict and help them analyze Okay, we have, I think, uh, made a great journey with respect to HR attrition analytics. I think we'll be making further great journeys in all other spaces. So, coming back to the, our GRC original suite, we have built a phenomenal product on risk audit, and we are trying to do the repeat the same with respect to asset policy. And probably on the next level of maturity, we have a kind of control management, fraud management, whistleblower, complaints management, lot of other products. the complaints management is going to be the perennial key of all of this other solution it is going to be the central centrifugal force for all of these products because complaints management is going to write what complaints standard or regulation that organizations are supposed to stick with so for example a healthcare company need to follow hipaa which is going to be driven by the complaints management and um, uh, kind of a payment card company pci dss is going to be driven by complaints management complaints management is going to be the central centrifugal force for all the other products for example whistle blower what exactly it will automate it will automate the vigilance teams of banks okay how a, a, a disgruntled employee or a employee who found out some non compliance process of the company who can reach out to the board of directors okay 
and uh, that, that's what it is. The competition landscape is Archer, Metrics Team, Thomson Reuters, Open Pages, uh, NASDAQ, BYs, a lot of these companies. NASDAQ, okay, why, why in the world NASDAQ went and acquired a company called the BYs? NASDAQ is a listing agency where you can go list your company, raise money, public investors come invest. Why Nasdaq went and acquired a GRC product company called BYs? Because they want to insist to the world saying that GRC is a very, very important process. This, this helps uh, the organizations to streamline things. That's what it is. And uh, the competition analysis is we have almost matched a lot of the important products features coming from Archer, Metrics Team World, Modular World. Probably we are catching up with respect to a lot of other integrations and other features, but with respect to audit, risk, incident, the the other super admin features like race, uh, the <coughs> uh, the roles, responsibilities, consolidated indicators, dashboards, a lot of these other features we have we are matching with our competition, and uh, the pricing is uh, supposed to be something that we offer something for the small and medium business. Where we, we are trying to see start something with two thousand dollars, we are still discovering the pricing. But we are trying to see can we can we uh, kind of see how we can offer all of our suite in a very affordable price point to help them comply towards some standard like ISO twenty seven thousand one or PCDSS. So this is the suite we are trying. We are supposed to help some of the small scale healthcare companies or any of this particular sector two thousand dollars. Can we charge them two thousand dollars for the product being our implementation services around them? That's a minimal thing at least should cover the cost. And probably if we are trying to look like some premium offering, we can uh, provide some support and onboarding process. And if we are really able to kind of charge them $4,500, we can provide hosting integrations. We can integrate with their other enterprise application. They have an ERP application where an audit need to happen based on the ERP applications invoice process. Certainly it can happen. So integrations can, based on integrations, we can provide this enterprise offering. <laughs> and uh, for large enterprises, beyond $4,500, there are a lot of companies who can provide even spend $10,000 or even $100,000. So those are the organizations <coughs> who do this large enterprise offerings. And um, we have a lot of uh, uh, value propositions we are bringing to the table, which is uh, the very important value proposition is SaaS, uh, software as a service. So which... I think uh, this is where the, uh, we, we we should be really proud of our innovation. I think we are in the process of filing a few patents. I think uh, I have no shame to accept that we are the first one who have really put some price points in the GRC world in the uh, whole the, the, the whole GRC world. Nobody have put their price points in their site. Okay, as simple as that. Forget about SaaS. SaaS even RSA as a cloud delivery model. Metrix team also has a cloud proposition, but even RVO, many people have cloud proposition, but people don't publish their price points or let people come self-subscribe, do things on their own, okay, which, which is not there for a long time. Now people are trying to catch up in the recent past. We are trying to claim this or trying to do this from day one. Okay, we have got to a product market fit after a long time. I think uh, now we need to repeat the same thing, whatever we have figured out in our this to multiple other domains, which is what will take us to success story. So mobility, analytics, I think the affordability factor everybody knows. Okay, mobility, analytics, whether our competition does a great job, no, they suck big time. So mobility, they don't think mobile. Okay, chief risk officers want to see their risk dashboards in dash uh, in mobile. I am a chief risk officer. I can go work as a chief information security officer or risk officer for any, any good decent company. I, I would love to see my risk dashboard in a mobile than a web application. So I don't see any GRC product company doing it. So the, the charter what we have, we may not have a mobility solution per se, but the charter what we have, and the, even the analytics and integrations and a few other things, the customizable, scalable, easy to adopt, this all this user experience as a value proposition, this is a very serious, phenomenal uh, uh, thought process what we have, I think we are getting there. So right now, Sipla and Society General are our paid customers. So City General, we got paid for a pilot, which we got done through an accelerator program, what they ran, where we got selected as part of it, eight startups out of 167. And uh, Sipla is a customer for more than a year and a quarter. They have paid almost $100,000, where we have helped them automate their audit and risk process. 
and uh, we have very great pilots going on with the UBS, Barclays, large banks and uh, global banks. And we have some automotive campaign solution which we have initiated with Tata Motors and they have initiated their procurement process. Probably we are trying to repeat the innovation what we have done for Tata Motors and the automotive complaints for Merck and Tesla's of the world. And uh, with respect to Indian banking, we are trying to see how we will help PCVSS complaints kind of things for Axis Bank. And uh, we are trying to do the same thing for government sector or how we can help the governments to also to different state governments, their data centers to comply towards ISO 2701. So we have initiated a pilot with state of California long back. So we have good partners. We have good partnerships, agreements, uh, synergies with a uh, few regulators. So probably I think right now today people may identify us as fintech company, but eventually few of our board of uh, advisors are saying that we may, we may be identified as reg tech company, regulatory technology company. Because we are trying to partner with the regulators. Okay, we have partnered with the uh, RBI, one of the RBI's entity, IDRBT. IDRBT is uh, really trying to push us, deliver few solutions for the small scale banking, cooperative banks, rural banks, state uh, cooperative banks, kind of the small scale banks who cannot afford a multi million dollar solution. So, the, the interesting phenomenon is forget about the small scale banks, even the large banks, nobody have written check to Archer or Matrix team in India, except HDFC or few, very few banks, other global banks. So we have a huge open greenfield opportunity. Do you think uh, we are the only one going to crack the Indian GRC market or emerging market GRC market? No, we are not going to be the only one, but it's like we have started early. We have an undue advantage. We have a huge mindshare in the industry. Probably if we are not riding on that mindshare, I think we have a problem. So we are trying to repeat the same partnership. See, in RBA, what we have done is we have hosted our product in RBA's cloud. We are trying to accelerate that relationship, trying to see how we can push that uh, story to kind of uh, deliver uh, the RBA cloud itself can serve the, all the banks. That's what we are trying to push. Singapore, we are trying to see how we will repeat the same RBA story in Singapore. They have a regulator called Manipi Authority of Singapore. We are trying to repeat the same story. <coughs> and that, that why Singapore? MAS also has a complaints module as like RBI. Okay. RBI complaints module, I'll just demonstrate, I'll showcase. So we are in the Singapore, now we are trying to partner with the Certi Cisco, Singtel kind of agencies to see how they can become our local government partner who will host and maintain the solution for the MAS complaints, which will help their a lot of the uh, uh, bodies. Like uh, for example, uh, Singpost. Singpost is uh, almost like a private corporation which is the Singapore post. They, they, they are funded by Singapore government, but they run like a private corporation. They have mandate, since they are like a corporation, they have mandate to file a lot of uh, information to their reserve bank. Their uh, Singapore reserve bank is MAS. So they need to follow a lot of documentation. They need to follow a lot of standards, which is nothing but MAS standard. MAS standard and complaints is what we are automating and uh, uh, we are trying to automate by hosting our product there. So building a complaints package is uh, no brainer. Okay, um, I want to deep see. In fact, uh, the interesting journey what we have uh, we we are trying to do is debunking lot of myths. There is lot of myths around this industry. It's like a uh, complaints and security industry for that matter in a large scale. It's a scareware industry. Okay? People create lot of scare and they are trying to sell through scare, which is not a great thing. But industry <coughs> has evolved and uh, we are able to make money. So people. Inside the industry, inside us, don't talk about it. So they don't say that we are a scareware industry. No. Why in the world, if there is a plunk, we need an alien wall. Why we need an arc site? But you go see a bank, they have all the 10 arc sites and uh, alien walls and plunks and all the 10, 20 log management solutions for a single bank. All of them sitting in one data center, crunching the same log, putting a dashboard for the same chief information security officer. Nobody questions them. Because they always source have a luxury to say that I'm putting one more additional layer. No product can claim they are providing foolproof security. So it's always about scare wrapping. So which is what another important myth we are trying to debunk. So if we can easily build the libraries to get into any market. For example, we, we want to enable the defense industry. Defense industry has a standard called ILCP, which by building a simple library, 
in our mid market solution itself we can automate we can help the defense industry we can reach out to all the 5000 manufacturers of defense industry so there is some 5000 manufacturer government of india defense department of defense is trying to procure the products because of the make in india program all of them are trying to go through large companies like uh, lnt larson and tubro defense lnt defense so this we, we are trying to see how we can partner with lnt defense to push the ilcp compliance package which is what we are trying and the uh, same way we are trying to see how there are some insurance related standards and packages we are trying to push so now i'll probably i'll try to do a small demo or uh, i i i'll save the demo for a subsequent follow up but uh, today i'll i'll talk about the even the grs industry following this uh, powerpoint so there are uh, different solutions what we have built we have built a saas solution almost it's a year year and a half old we are supposed to release uh, the new version of the grc smb grc solution fresh grc by uh, november 8 and the mid market we are going to uh, we already have a mid market solution and analytics we have couple of products and uh, yeah these are the different set of products what we have got so and even uh, we have got lot of recognitions i think a uh, lot of news press so i think this this is about it you can in fact uh, start writing about it i'll i'll go back to the grc originally we we started at least you want to stay if you can stay so in fact i'll start from the basics information security see okay i'll tell i'll show the date when i have built this deck i have built this deck uh, probably november of 2012 when i started the company so i built eight different decks to even to put give clarity to my own thoughts why first this industry or this product is going to work i i tried socializing this with or some good 200 security industry leaders then i jumped ship saying that okay grc is the product we are going to build. see first i tried correlating some thoughts so probably i'll try to I, i'm going to assume you are all of you as no voices now why information security why information security process so it's going to slowly add layers now and then you will completely get the context i'm going to answer now very important uh, part why are we why first grc is needed so that's the answer i'm going to provide so yeah, i will type on google yeah we are i will log in from there So I want to sit there. Sit there. Uh, get get that. Uh, right. There's no screen. Okay. Not visible from. Okay. Okay. That's me. Uh, so okay. Actually, actually, I'll sit on the system okay. and log into Google. Okay. Okay. No, no. It's okay. Good. Cool. So, information security. <laughs> why information security? What is information? So, information is an asset like other important business assets. It's very essential to the organization. See, for example, in our organization, what are the very important information we are supposed to protect? which is what is going to be around information security see first of all all can be can be kind of claimed as information see any any information which can be created stored destroyed processed transmitted copied used lost corrupted all of this can be called as information and then it will have its own information life cycle as well so we can see what are the risks any information can have see even you know about some information for example uh, uh, some one of you know that okay 19th and 20th we are going to have couple of investors coming from singapore evaluating fixed nix for investments okay that is information so probably it should say inside so this is the insider information so we we are rated or perceived in different ways for different things by outside market if we, if we, if we share this information so by not sharing this information we are always in a advantage position this investor not investing may become a firing back in case if he leak out this information today this investor is coming today and he is not investing it may be a fire back so people may perceive it badly in case if he tell it share it now but if we keep it as a if, we, if this information is protected and if, if you are not talking about it till the real fundraise happens that that, that, that that's the right management system for you it has a correct control set of control all of us are abiding to our own processes and set up and regulations that is what see, we putting layers and uh, a lot of controls around it is what information security is about so what are the risks we may have for all uh, information is a lot of this high user knowledge of it system theft misuse hacking version control problems unrestricted access system network failure lack of documentation virus natural calamities fire these are the dis- different risk which can happen to any information information which can be stored a lot of lot of kind of lot of different sort of information even information storing in my mind is also information 
tomorrow if i am not keeping subra and sunil not aware of something and if I, something happens to me it is it's a risk to the organization so but i i am keeping them copied in a lot of this important conversation yes that that can that way even if i have some some misfortune happens it, things can continue this this is a, that's how the system should be and that see, that's that's what its natural calamity are fire about so we'll talk about it eventually so the challenge is protection of this information and information systems to meet business and legal requirement by doing lot of these things provisioning the secure environment managing the security between the competing projects preventing loss of product knowledge and the kind of lot of pre preventing leak of confidential information to competition so meeting parent company requirements ease of access to large mobile workforce so all of us have information at our handy so all of you have fixix.co email id you can access it that itself is a very important information tomorrow your mobile is lost so you are being copied on lot of info important information organizational announcement saying that so and so has joined so and so thing is happening we are going to barclays whatever so somebody is taking able to hand, uh, take over that it's a very handy take work for them to assume lot of information about the company so right now we may not have lot of controls internally but still these are the things ideal things should we should have so managing cost versus risk managing legal complaints lot of these things are the challenges okay in current industry okay so they everybody think about the cost okay when when as a smb think about forget about the complaints part as a smb i think about cost all the time okay what is the cost of this access control system is 20k but the 20k is needed or can i have one guy who can do the checking in the ground floor itself who can be paid 1000 rupees who can check and send send the person it is going to cost only 12000 rupees whether that access finger fingerprint and uh, the biometric access control system is needed or not so if, if i'm thinking too much about cost i may try to avoid that but i have a manual person but whether that is going to help us no in the long run if i have bandwidth cost allowed to spend for the putting the system i should be going for it or it can serve multiple other layers attendance management system lot of other things it can serve so management concerns security see always so the the usually these are the security measures controls what we can take to alleviate the management concerns management will have lot of concerns market reputation i told about it right now leakage of this information i may get impacted on the market on market reputation somebody writing something to a press from fixnix saying something bad about fixnix is a reputation issue for the matter so business continuity so do we have business continuity plan so in case okay the chief minister of uh, the state she is sick so what what is the plan in case if there is some misfortune thing happens what is the plan how are we going to continue the show that day after tomorrow we have a hackathon or accelerator we are going to a glo global banks meeting couple of days after how things are planned who can support that okay all those things should be in place okay and uh, loss of confidential data loss of customer confidence legal liability cost of security business loss all of these are different management concerns so to avoid all of this uh, management concerns or to address this we need to take lot of steps something like uh, technical steps technical steps procedural steps physical physical controls logical controls personal controls management controls i'll give at least one example for all technical control what is the technical control i can take technical control if i'm asking our system admin the key to say block all usbs simple okay it's one level of technical control and I, we are putting one more layer we are having security in our uh, entrance and he is checking all our people and there is only company provided laptop or systems are allowed inside we are not allowing any external system to come inside and uh, all the usbs and phones are collected in the outside itself that's a second level of security not second it's the utmost level of security probably what is the procedural control procedural control having somebody internally the system admin do a regular audit daily once he is going in the morning 9 o'clock afternoon 1 o'clock evening 5 o'clock he is doing audit after having all this controls technical controls he is going doing audit whether the security is collecting the usb from the gate or not he is going randomly doing the frisk control checking with all the people he is checking the bags okay anybody have brought usb from that's a procedural control physical control yeah we already spoke about it the physical security guy collecting the things 
logical control logical okay i will use a very very raw example for logical control you all of you know iphone okay iphone that is a very phenomenal great security control iphone have built very very simple but it's very phenomenal very well thought out what is the security control of an iphone not finger fingerprint is little geeky slight feature okay, i do not want to take a lot of time the slight feature why we need to have a slight feature in the iphone in first place that's a big big innovation you go see apple's patent they have a patent on the slide feature it's a very important feature which nobody else cannot copy why samsung and other all these guys have this uh, swing and uh, all this finger the all that uh, uh, matrix kind of uh, thing for cracking their opening their screen because it's a very basic level of control where iphone while they are designing the product itself they have thought through this feature and if the phone is kept somewhere and even if you don't have that even the four digits or six digit code coder it nobody can see the information what is there in the basic uh, phone's display and whatever other other things happening there basic very high level control then you want to add that other six digit thing that's the second level of control. that that's a very logical thinking while designing a feature itself they have thought through that. they have a pattern so in fact the way i used to explain grc very initial days i think i should have a slide on this okay uh, grc is nothing but the slide feature for iphone okay you you you, you want grc is nothing but a slide feature if uh, uh, iphones have slide feature grc is the slide feature for uh, enterprises it's high level control it cannot prevent protect all things no it cannot do it's not a, a superman it will cover everything no it's one layer that's it one process layer or logic layer then underneath it you need to put a six digit code or underneath it you need to put further things and etc so it, it can can do a phenomenal high level thing which which can uh, really uh, kind of at least put one one logical level of uh, control okay. so i think even if you, see this is how i explain to my parents okay when i pursued this i this is how i explain okay this this drc is some product something like so you want to explain what uh, which company you are working for this is the way you can explain okay for a phone there is a simple feature for enterprises they also need some soft process the this high level security process on this lines is what the the software what we build will do automate okay. and the personal management yeah personal management you have a internal audit team designated people of chief chief information security officer that's called physical control it's for personal control people doing controls and security measures and the management control you have a chief information security officer personal control where you have a auditor auditor reporting to you is c c so is management control okay information security see, there are multiple layers okay the the information systems will be there around that logical security physical security organizational and procedural security there will be multiple layers see our product will come into the organizational and procedural security layer there are a lot of other products which will come into logical security physical security layer ours is coming into the procedural security layer okay so what what exactly we do we protect information from a range of threats ensures uh, business continuity minimizes financial loss minimizes and uh, maximizes return of investment and business opportunities okay this is what we do and protecting information through selection of appropriate security controls is what we do and uh, the information security model what 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 is suggested and recommended is so basically there is a thing called confidentiality integrity and availability gulshan in fact i want you to be here really speak and i am confidential okay it's okay so confidentiality integrity availability see uh, this all these three are very important jargons cia see any you ask any security person they will talk about it see cia see, uh, the confidentiality is about for example the information whatever i said it should not get leaked out and integrity is about probably i i i cannot speaking double language okay whatever i speak here i should be speaking the same language to an investor i should be speaking the same language to my customer i should be speaking sales there can be exaggeration but i cannot uh, create any false information i can say that i am working on we have some four or five global banks who are on our pipeline but i cannot say that they have paid some 500000 i cannot fake that i should not be doing that that's called integrity 
availability availability is about making systems available that is a power problem generator problem that should be some ups run that is a natural calamity still the azure thing should be running so one azure going down that should be other system should be, should be making up and running so all these three aspects of the information security is very important and the the, the those informations will be processed they they this level of security will be happening on the processing stage storage stage transmission stage and it will be accomplished by um, the techniques like policy and procedures technology education training and awareness see you why i am having this slide this is like very basic fundamental information security i am talking about it but eventually we will appreciate because we have a separate module called policy we have a separate module called awareness this slide is very important understanding this slide is also important see the way we can achieve caa the confidentiality integrity availability of information will happen through this techniques okay it will be process store uh, transmission all these three parts of the information which is happening through this techniques can be achieved through these steps all these are steps so these steps have processes which is what our product will offer so we are decoding information security model for any organization so this is what the caa is about this is okay i think first slide done okay this is just a eight slide deck so this is a very fundamental thing i built so it's not very rocket science i will be able to even finish all the decks today it's uh, then the second deck is talking about so information security management system A lot of people ask information security management system yeah, what English, 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 yeah. Huh? English, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so in the past slide, past slide, we saw what is information security. In the next slide, we are talking, going to see about what is information security management system. Then I am going to talk about ISO. Then I am going to talk about ISO 27001. Then I am going to talk about ISO 27001 in India. And then, then I am going to talk about ISO 27001 and SMB and then GRC and then uh, services around the, the security so you guys will get the complete picture so if you if you can allow i will continue where i'll try to capture the essence today okay. so information security management system is about nothing but so whatever we saw so how this can put a lot of things together where so kind of put some layers for example so there are a lot of layers we, we need to put okay for example risk management all of this security breach avoid management so a lot of these different standards and structures we need to put for accomplishing this information security management system. For example, there are different uh, uh, classes, okay, different um, uh, domains we need to accomplish. Okay, we are trying to claim that we have a foolproof information security management system. Okay, what is information security management system? Information security management system is nothing but okay. Every organization they want to claim they are ISO 9000 certified. They are they are saying that they are quality they have right quality management systems right all of you know ISO 9001 because even a small uh, lab laboratory which is testing our blood is also playing ISO 9001 because it's so much democratized but the important thing is that all many of these guys don't know the seriousness of it and they are trying to claim that they have just bought the certificate and the claim no the real essence is we should have a quality vision quality mission they should have some, some small set of quality practices that's what will allow them to claim that they are a quality management system they have right quality management system and the quality management system is checked and controlled and certified which is called iso 9001 certificate now the certification industry has become a lot corrupted because of which now it has become democratized and everybody is able to pay 10000 and get the certificate you guys want to get uh, 9001 or 10001 sorry 27001 we can get 9001 for 9000 rupees, 27001 for 27000 rupees. In fact, this is the way I will put it. So, this is how the this is how this casting is done. Really, seriously speaking. 14001 is 14000 rupees. This is how India as a country we have decoded. We are, we are a completely messed up country, seriously speaking. Because Japan, out of out of 15,000 organizations who are certified in ISO 27001, 7000 come from Japan. All 7,000 take it very seriously. Do you guys ask whether the, there is a market in Japan? I will not talk about market. There are 7,000 companies who are certified in ISO 27001. You guys figure out. It's Vengadesh job. How he will put the audit management in Japanese language? How you guys will have a guy who will speak in Japanese? 
but there are some some of those companies who are certified in ISO 20 some is not in Japan. So they uh, use right. Excel Outlook right now. They don't use GRC product. Excel Outlook is here. GRC product is here. They need something meaningful. Good. Uh, so uh, our primary customers will be those people who are. ISO 27,000. Because I, I'll come there. Why ISO 27,000? Where the ISO 27,000 is coming? You see, the information security management system is nothing but see. You, I spoke about quality management system. Information security management system is nothing but like how we are putting something around quality. So how we can put some management structure around information security uh, management system. So whatever different processes we can put around people, policy, process, procedure, whatever, lot of things. So, so this is an ongoing activity. It's not a one-off exercise. It's an ongoing activity. So we need to kind of address all of this effectively and efficiently by putting this right systems. For example, all of these things need to be in place. See, now I think slowly we'll get into this mode of why this DRC thing. See, right now we are seeing the word called risk, right? So how, what are the benefits of ISMS? By the benefits of ISMS, by rightly building the ISMS system. So again, I'll go by the same ISM, uh, iPhone example. So in the iPhone, okay, you assume ISMS is nothing but, okay, the slide feature is just nothing but a control. The slide feature <coughs> with that six digit passcode plus some encryption plus that iCloud swipe, remote swipe and 10 other features is nothing but information security management system for the enterprise. Say so iPhone has 10, 10 level of controls, right? The remote wipe, so many things. All of this putting together that six digit codes, swipe, all that stuff, fingerprint, all that included is called information security management system of iPhone. You think put the same, extend the same thing to an enterprise, that's what all of these multiple layers are about. Okay, now the risk management, see what is the way they need to put it. See, assume same thing, think on the same lines of the iPhone. What, what is the use of putting all of this multiple level of soft controls? See, we will be able to manage risk. Okay, we will be able to do right careful contracting. Think in the organizational uh, aspect. See, we are we will be able to have right level of controls, right level of business practices, and you will be able to protect the intellectual property. We will be able to avoid any security breaches and also able to continue business in case of any disruption, and also increase trust and customer confidence and business opportunities. Then we have, if we are claiming that we have I, we have done real ISO 27001 implementation. Forget about ISO 27001 as a jargon. Even you are really claiming, saying that you have a right information security management system implemented and achieved the certification eventually. The customer confidence will improve, business power opportunities, what you are going to improve as even SMB will improve. This is, the, this is the selling point what all certification agencies use. So who needs ISMS? All these days, call centers, IT companies, government, manufacturing companies, consultancy firms, hospitals, schools and universities, insurance companies. All these companies who are value information need to protect it by having information security management. Okay, what are the standards in information security management? Two important standards. 27001, 27002. 27001, there was a version in 2005, it was the first version they released. 27,000, they released a version in 2013, I think, 13, uh, 13 or 15, uh, I think it, it, it was in 15. Okay, they released a new guideline in 15. And um, what are this, what are the standard about ISO 27,000? Vignesh, in fact, I want you to join this. So, now I am getting a little deep, not some general, yeah. See, try, try spend the next 30 minutes. So, so um, ISO 27,000, where here we are talking about there is a specification. Basically, there are set of controls. There, there are set of uh, uh, kind of uh, definitions. And in 27002, see, 27001 is a standard which there they can go certified because there are some certain set of controls. There, where you, you there are there are some 133 controls. Earlier version had 2005 version had 2015 version have 114 controls, 114 controls. If some organization is claiming. They have all the 114 controls met. It will certainly help these guys uh, uh, saying that I am I am certified uh, or once after they go with the certifying body, we can claim that they are certified against ISO 27001. What is 27002? 27002 is about just a code of practice and uh, probably information security management system. This is like just a guidance thing. People cannot get certified against ISO 27001 too. 
but 2701 they can get certified against they can go to a certifying body they can claim that okay i am following all of this 140 give me a certification <coughs> iso 9001 also they can get certified there are multiple other standards even in iso 9001 the, the, the iso as an organization publishes a lot of standards only few standards are certifiable standards where they come say that okay you are meeting you are certified 27,001, 27,001 as a family is about information security. They have tons of standards, more than 10, 15 standards in ISO 27,000 itself, 27,000 itself. One is about certification, two is about guidelines, where they are going to give best practices. You guys have time, go check internet, go to Google images, search ISO 27,001 2. You will see a lot of images. The images can teach you. You don't need to read Okay. This is a very important technique what you guys need to learn. 27001, this is how the 27001 standard is defined in 2005. Okay, there is a scope, there is a small references, terms and definitions. Four, in the four information security management system, 4.1 is about general and the 4.2 is about establishing that uh, information security management system. 4.3 is about documenting, 4.3.3 is about control of records. 5 is about management responsibility, 5.1 is about management commitment, 5.2 is about resource management, 6 is about ISM, internal ISMS audits, 7 is about management review of the ISMS, 8 is about ISMS improvement, 8.1 is about continual improvement, 8.2 is about corrective actions, 8.3 is about preventive actions. This is the perennial building block of the organization or our GRC product. Okay. So all ISO products or GRC products are built on this mainly. Okay. What exactly all of the standards does in the high level I will tell you. Again, okay, four section four, they are trying to say how they can put this high level standard, how they can define the, the side feature of the iPhone. First high level. And then five, they are trying to talk about okay, uh, how we are going to build the encryption feature, something like some little go in deep of the iPhone. Okay, they are talking about how are we defining it. Okay. Probably how we can do the remote swipe in case the phone is lost, how we can do the remote swipe. See, what is the management responsibility? Who is going to manage this whole the information security teams? That's what they are defining in five. Six is about auditing. Okay, what is happening? So do, do we keep track okay, of the iPhone slide? Okay, there are some, uh, you, you are suspecting that somebody have access. So you, you, you can have one more feature, which is called the six digit password. You do not want to leave it to the, just the slide phone. So that's assume that the six digit passcode is the internal ISMS audits. Or you can at least prevent people by auditing, you can prevent people from not doing the right, not doing the wrong things. Okay. And where you can continuously improve. Okay. There are already products in our space, GRC space, or in general the GRC world. I will not talk about fixed things at all now. I'll talk about see the, where, where and all GRC products will get fit. Okay, audit management is coming in the domain six. Okay, you are seeing corrective action, preventive action. It's in fact all these are features of uh, uh, part six, uh, part uh, section seven, section eight, and uh, you you see document control of records. Four point three point three is about asset management. Four is about compliance management. There are different modules which directly enables. Five point two is about uh, risk management. A lot of this sections directly relate to different modules products of our any grc products for that matter see why why people need this information management security management system how it will help a small and medium business or even large business this was a study published by british standard institute who is a famous certifying agency of the globe for this iso 2701 certification 87 percentage respondents said ISO 27001 changed their future. They brought a lot of positive outcome for them. First, if you are trying to sell it to an SMB, we need to sell ISO 27001. Then only we will be able to sell even uh, GRC. First, they should have this 27001 thought process is in play. Then only we will be able to even sell that uh, uh, even our GRC. When they have that inclination, automatically less things will place. Okay, so lot of lot of facts and figures are there. So the top three responding countries are Japan, Germany and UK. So of course, these are the countries who think and res respect the management systems. Okay, there is a concept called integrated management system. See, integrated management system is nothing 
but the integration of lot of management system i spoke about quality management system see that can be environmental management system that can be information security management system assume we have all full proof controls we are implementing iso 27456 collecting the usb having a security outside not allowing the phone not allowing anything inside not allowing our own laptops we are having full proof security we have implemented iso 27001 we got certified good iso 9001 we have some quality policies established mission mission we are checking the quality of the code lot of other things we have iso 9001 check so we we are okay we are we have grown big we have even uh, the waste disposal management system taken care we are even iso 14001 environmental management system certified okay we are certified in three different management systems security quality environment integrating all of this with the dashboard and measuring it or tracking it auditing it maintaining it complying towards it complying towards it and uh, re getting recertified against it is called integrated management system so how how this pdca thing comes or what, what exactly it is see the so usually this uh, information security management system implementation are kind of how how can we start a information security management system plan for a information security management system for fixnets or a new organization so first we need to plan and establish what is going to be the coming under the scope of this information security if we are going to define probably I, we can make things very complex like this uh, collecting all the usb samples but we can make it very simple still keep our environment very cool and uh, startup friendly saying that okay what is the important uh, part of this company intellectual property the code base the product what we build we who and all have access for that sendu vicky rangadesh good they are the ones who have access cto architect system owner they are the one who grant access for the developer they manage this access if, if it is done through some set of process and if we have some high level management system good that's what is about planning and then acting uh, not uh, do, uh, acting sorry do do is about implementing okay now i have planned for this github github is a thing now here i have planned to implement github for the development organization and then i am implementing i am saying okay all developers now onwards you cannot directly push it to smdgrc.com you should first check in the code to github github we have got access we have paid access we have got github account all enterprise account all 10 developers can maintain your own branch can check in the code there okay now implementing that github process in the development team is nothing but do check who is checking sendil checking or vagnesh checking or is wiki checking that's that's about whether they are checking in the code right they are not doing the check in directly in that uh, the smdgrc.info or dot com that's what is about checking and the acting in case if there is some gap the okay, wiki is finding sunil by mistake directly went and uploaded the code in smdgrc.com so he was got called sunil got called by the sales team to fix some bug in the smdgrc.com one attachment feature is not working he got called he is going fixing it directly in the server he is directly going remote remote into the server and fixing it he found out because tomorrow then we are they are uploading some new code again that old feature is breaking because he has uploaded the code that not from the github so then if he has found out something the the checking part so he can put some process that he can act upon it he can give a formal warning to sunil you should not be doing this first warning he will write a mail as a system admin we will write a mail to sunil copy vangadesh saying that vangadesh you need to make sure your developers are checking through github because it is breaking it will it will spoil our process second he is okay, we are following this process next time next time he is finding two gaps next time some other priority feature i am going asking nivedini and uh, sunil they are checking some code directly in the github uh, the directly in the server <laughs> and uh, because of my pressure they have checked it but still sunil in this process he has found out he can go right this time copying sendil not only vangadesh okay, this time it's becoming serious because nivedini as well as sunil both of the all developers are now directly checking the code in the server itself not through github it's a serious issue <coughs> we don't have a 
track of what is the code new code being built or what is the modification we have built so it's a plan do check act is the process which which process will which product of grc will automate this plan do check act audit management okay so yeah yeah sure yeah um, yeah I'll, i'll try to fast track uh, this thing uh, yeah um 5:30 is a meeting go sir ha will start by 4:30 4:30 i'll try to fast track okay 4:30 you can book the cab by 4:20 okay so information security management system okay these are the different sections okay under okay now you guys got the context okay under so here in the first is the planning stage they will first we'll plan how to establish the organization how to implement how to monitor review how to ma- maintain and improve lot of these things will plan okay in the documentation say in the documentation section will plan how we are going to maintain the control of documents control of records a okay, lot of these things will plan in the management commitment section this particular section will plan what is the policy what is the roles and responsibilities of the organization how are we going to communicate the security objectives of the organization to so many people and what are the legal regulatory requirements and continual improvement what are the adequate resources so basically criteria for accepting risks and acceptable levels of risk all of these things will define and even internal audits management reviews all of the sections will define and uh, even we'll talk about the resource management part of how are we providing resources how are we going to provide training and awareness for this organization in the security aspect all of these things we will define in the management responsibility i'll i'll put it in a very generic way so here we'll plan in a high level and in the documentation stage we'll talk about how are what are the documentations we are going to maintain for that security perspective here we are going to talk about how how the management is going to drive this how how they are going to put the internal audit systems in place how they are going to put the awareness and other things in place see in fact there are exact products which will meet this asset management there is a product even called a module which we are supposed to build as part of grc call awareness management awareness management will tie it back to policy policy is a product which is tied back to this how are we defining policy how the policy is having its own life cycle which is what nothing about 5.1 the policy management will product will come here and uh, even risk management risk management product will also come here risk what is risk risk is about the, the how the organization is uh, considering a lot of the security head of the organization should document lot of things okay he should say that okay today okay uh, the system admin have in his audit he found uh, three times the uh, developers directly checking into the code there the cto is not taking action architect is not taking an action this is a risk he will go document it he will that risk will supposed to have some mitigation whatever output he got from his regular audit the developer audit or security audit it will go tie it back to risk management system the risk management system will have its own life cycle somebody need to come come once after the risk manager assume elil is the security head security chief information security officer when he logs that uh, risk saying that it is a risk sendil need to mitigate it saying that okay now this is the last day next time somebody is doing okay i'll take responsibility he need to come up with a mitigation and then management can review subra professor subra or board of directors can review okay approve next time if it is happening we will take action because intellectual property part of thing we cannot goof up with respect to our code base internal isms audits See, this is exactly nothing but audit management system who conduct audits and why they conduct audits is about is what get answered here documented procedure see in fact when we do audits there is a lot of checklist thing which is what about the audit thing and the management review is again about the audit thing itself the top management shall review the isms at planned intervals see this is also again about the audit tool itself see how the management is checking whether this security controls whatever we have put in place is working assume we have only put the github as a security management system in the organization only even checking that whether the github management system is working or not on a regular interval quarterly once six months once checking that is very important somebody should key in output input somebody should key in output wiki should come up with tons of records saying that one all got access from github one all checked in 
who are all uh, kind of checked out what are what timelines whether they checked in from office checked in from home lot of things output you need to create a report that's what output is about improvements okay he can identify actions corrective action corrective action preventive action always corrective action is about short term okay wiki now we found some gaps okay, the uh, developer team is doing always doing this going correcting from the server so sindil and bakresh can put some temporary action corrective action they can say simply nobody have access to the server they can remove the server access completely the devops team only wiki will do or i will do or bakresh will do nobody have direct server access simple corrective action that's a corrective action temporary 3 months short term preventive action is long term so every every audit finding need to have a corrective action preventive action they should relate to it so if you see all of this these are fields in the audit management system corrective action preventive action will be sections so preventive action is something like where he he can say that okay in the long term there can be a access management provision uh, provisioning process where they can come create a user and password for the server access they need to put the documented reasons and then they can take the access to go to the server and then they the access will go away in 15 minutes so they will be able to exactly identify so that's it this is about information security management stuff see it's a very very easy way of explaining but even the the i am very confident i can finish this okay uh, see iso what is iso let's go to iso iso is a standards body which is in existence since uh, 1947 the year when we got independence iso as a standards body also got created in europe iso is a european standards body there are 162 countries who are member of it and there are 150 people who are only working full time the central secretariat is in Gen geneva switzerland okay and they have there is there are totally 19000 international standards what iso as a body has created in 19000190 we know about only four in security itself there is supply chain management security there is marine security if you guys want to go deep there are at least 200 security standards itself information security standards i'm not talking about security sir talking about information security standards for see iso as a body their job is to define standards how this industry should work so in 2005 let's talk about our our standard which is 2027 in 2005 they created this okay, this is the evolution of this okay there are other standards what they have created 9001 got created in 1987 iso 9000 standard got created in 1987 and think about the first standard what they have created they have created the first standard for geometrical product specification in 1951 and the 1960s they started including all developing countries like india into the into their game and they started giving correspondent memberships in 1967 69 they kind of they, they kind of started including a lot of things started getting even making the even countries like us being part of the standards uh, definitions and also in 96 only 14001 got defined so th this is a this is a picture about <coughs> what are the different standards break up see some good 27% standard come from engineering technology industry some good 16% standard come from the electronic information technology and telecommunication industry 23% come from materials technology industry okay, there are 163 members but this is how the standards break up is 90000 standards pretty much all of this in engineering technology space mainly and uh, there is a huge survey iso as a body have done In 2011, they have published the result. They have gone through some 1,883 people, and this is what they they, they got lot of results. They, they, you guys can go through it. So, according you know, by end of 2011, this was the certification number. They have had 1,48 or uh, uh, 1 crore, so no, 14,84 thousand companies certified all across the globe in multiple standards. Now, yes, so 27,000. There are seventeen thousand organizations by end of two thousand eleven. After two thousand eleven, they have not uh, revealed uh, any number. So this seventeen thousand should be our target. 
this 17,000 are either using Excel Outfit, uh, Excel Outlook uh, for doing audits, for maintaining things, or they are not doing anything, or they are buying $100 tools, this is what they are doing. See, and ISO 27001 is the only standard which is seeing growth. All the other standards, ISO 9000 and all, nobody is respecting, they started dipping. See, from 2010 to 11, people started not subscribing, not renewing their ISO 9001 standard. It's not an Indian phenomenon, it's a global phenomenon. They know why is that, why is that? People, it lost its sheer interest, attraction from them. See, one lab and, uh, management uh, company that uh, Lakshman here, Lakshman Suridi is able to get without uh, doing any standard thing and uh, by paying 10,000 rupees. What is the uh, sheer significance? Do you think some other good Danish people go by take it? No. Lost its sheer significance. 27,001 still is little respected because it's not so much commoditized. And, uh, see, there are a lot of, see, uh, Japan as a country have gone deep. See, they respect the whole standards in a very different way. 14,001, many other standards. 9,001, see, why they use 9,001 for a lot of things, even foreign six. These are the multi, see, I want all of you to understand ISO as a body. We need to understand it. That's the reason this whole deck is about that. The energy, a lot of things. Even they have a standard for fire safety, which is called ISO TC92, which is about fire safety standard. See, for uh, building smart cities, okay, these are the 20 standards which is around smart cities. There is a standard for intelligent and sustainable buildings. There is a standard for urban resilience. There is a standard for greener cars. There is a stand standard for road safety. ISO is a big, big body. You are talking about a, a smart city. There are like thousand standards which a smart city also can have, and uh, 30, 30,000 ISO 30,300 is about good corporate governance. Okay, and uh, Coca Cola is talking about 9,001, 14,001, They are calling it as company wide standard integration. Bentley is talking about 50,001 standard, which is about energy management system. Okay, ma marine industry, you see. What are the standards they have? They have got more than 17 standards in marine industry itself. ISO 28000 is about supply chain security, which we are also trying to now decode. Supply chain risk management is about nothing but 28000. Okay. Safety science is a standard. Whether they have right safety science displayed in the whole marine industry is about nothing but ISO 20, 24409. Shipping machinery operations in polar waters, ISO 18200. See, now, this, this industry is a big thing and uh, for example, Samsung, when they got ISO 27001, I think they, they wrote an article in ISO uh, that uh, newsletter, that's what it is about. Yeah, I think now all of you got some, see today this talk is about just a very high level thing, don't worry about it, I will be able to finish in the next 10 minutes. So now we will go deep, we will go deep about ISO 27001 standards. Now all of you got some understanding about ISO as a body. How many standards are there in ISO? Number Ramesh 90,000. 90, <laughs> Marine industry, how many standards are there? 70. So, ISO 27001, phenomenal number of sections, why it is need to be done, all of these things are there. It is talking about it probably, I think, again, you go by the same thing, okay? Why we need to have ISO 19,000, so 27001, it can avoid. It's incidents, it can save time, we can have a risk management system, a lot of things protect, it can help us protect a lot of our valuable assets, a lot of things, okay, and the plan to check out, it's not a, see, security is not a product, it's a process, it's more than designing strong cryptography, see, this guy, Bruce Kinier, how many of you are computer science engineers, you are computer science engineers, you know Bruce Kinier, he's the guy who defined the, redefined the cryptography industry. Okay. So, Bruce Schinier, big guy in the security world, defined the very toughest thing in the cryptography world, cracking. The, he has helped the American government build the toughest cryptography algorithm. He is saying security is not about product, it's about process. He is saying that even building the, all these products will not help. That it's about process. You kind of, it's not about cryptography, it is building all that other security measures which will work together with the process, uh, products is what is very important. 
so you try to read through all of this why the what are the benefits hey, these are the other all the things different uh, things we need to take care human resource aspect okay i will use human resources as an example okay in human resource uh, uh, aspect what are the nine things we need to do in security before rolling out an offer have we set up a terms and conditions have we taken did the background check and uh, while onboarding an employee are we giving a training what is the organization security expectation are we taking signatures while uh, are we giving access to the right systems while relieving an employee are we taking the access plan removing the access plan have we transitioned the controls back to the right person these are the nine kind of nine controls which is there in information security of hr hr domain okay likewise i think all these uh, feelings thing business continuity management is about business continuity management is about how we can define some set of controls for planning in case of any disaster okay asset management is about okay whatever now anand and vicky has initiated is small asset management process how many hardware assets fixing <coughs> has who is the owner what are they doing who is who is maintaining it what are the software is installed in it who who is renewing the software who has bought the software who is supposed to renew it lot of those information related to asset management comes under it security policy now tomorrow ramesh and myself are fairly list the chief information security officer for fixing he can define a security policy saying that at the high level we will have this policy for gitter you guys want to go deep when we are growing big we need to have more policies when we are small we can have very less policies keep it more innovative but when we are growing big we need to have more policies right now it can be gitter but there can be tomorrow 10 more policies uh, which we need to have usb physical security a lot of things so systems development and maintenance is one systems development and is maintenance is one domain but how our internal all the softwares whatever we are building whether they have right controls whether they have right access our hr system whether the hr payroll system is just a somebody submitting leave is it through excel or whatever in fact i i i will give a very raw example right now all of you are giving the information uh, of to get your id card printed all of our signatures are done and posted in the word word file somebody wants to misuse this and uh, they can very well misuse that okay and uh, it, it's, a, it's a small gap it's okay right now we are trying to go by the trust factor but it cannot be done for the long term right? the signatures need to be collected be, uh, signatures need to be collected it need to be in a very different format or people can have only access to their file okay everybody need to have some format and they can come only fill the format and put their file in that uh, hr folder whatever so that's a small process so likewise um, access control incident management tomorrow there is a security incident happening some virus is coming how we take that mission out and preventing all the other missions how that okay tomorrow then we need to okay once after the issues resolved if you are keeping quiet we are still smb we, we don't have a uh, process around it if we held a wiki accountable we we follow a small process whether he did the post mortem how the virus whether they used any usb go to the access log check do a research how the virus came into his network for in first that mission got which got infected how it got spread that should be an investigation that should be a post mortem post mortem is nothing about one process some 10 fields need to be filled somebody need to come in front ask wiki 10 questions check that mission and then after post mortem that should be a review by manager how it got closed so like this there are multiple things policies one one section lot of different sections okay, this is iso 27000 family okay in uh, 27000 16 is about certification 27004 is about measurement say so how we can define metrics finish in fact uh, you should uh, check out 27014 okay 27004 is about uh, metrics mainly and uh, 27017 is about guidelines and uh, two is about again code of practice three is about implementation see tomorrow we are talking about implementation how in, in case if we are trying to help some organization three is about how it can be implemented whole iso 20 security standards can be implemented five is about risk management alone risk management itself is a big domain okay and uh, okay 20 on those family as family has multiple standards which is what the message is about 
27001 is the only standard which is having requirements which is having some annexures which can where we can get certified against so this is how this things happens managing information security 27001 see 27001 have may have multiple set of sections. These are multiple different 11 domains which may have, 14 domains it may have, but 27001 2 may be having multiple more domains under different names. But at the end of the day, all of this coexist and exist how this can be built. This is not about, this is only about guidelines. One is only about certification, really speaking. One is the very important thing. And uh, yeah, I am going to wind up. So, being the, yeah, so this 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 particular deck also should be in your head all the time. Okay, asset management, policy, all our products are tied to this particular deck. Incident management, there is a product. Business continuity management, there is a product. Compliance management, there is a product. So physical security, there is a BCP product. HR security, it should come into one of the product. Asset, there is a product. Security policy, there is a product. All of this are like expanded, which is what is about our GRC product is about. There are, this in 2005 had 133 controls, 39 control objectives, 11 domains. What are the 11 domains? These are the 11 domains. These are the 11 domains. These are the 11 domains. Okay. What are the controls? See, uh, the, I think the domains are also expected. See, here they are talking about objectives, right? There are three objectives here. In the HR security, I use HR security as example. There are three objectives. Prior to employment, during employment, termination of employment. Okay. And that all that three have nine controls. All, all the three domain control objectives have nine controls. All three control objectives of HR domain have nine controls. HR is one domain. There are three control objectives, nine controls. Domain, control objective, control. HR Prior to employment, during employment, post employment, during prior employment, what are the three things we are checking? During post employment, what are the th things we are checking? Are the companies? Okay. Likewise, see here you can read deep about all of these things, uh, asset management. What are the things? Why we need to classify asset? Who is responsible for the asset? What are the things we are doing? Physical security means whether we have defined the security area, secure area. They, all the equipments have right security. In IBM, we used to have locks for all the even the laptops. If whatever laptops which are not locked with the uh, desk, my team, complaint control, control team had rights to confiscate all the uh, laptops and take it to the central place. We used to write the feedback of the employee and it will impact their performance. Uh, so, if it is not locked, it's not locked because there are thefts to avoid. IBM has put their policy and it's very important, it's taken very seriously. So, physical security that's about equipment security. Okay, and the communications and operations management. How how are we coordinating with our vendors? What are the things we are trying to work with vendors? See, third party service delivery management. Today there is some chai king coming, there is this guy coming. So how how what are the places they have access? Do we have anything? How we work with our vendors? See, we are trying to partner with some four guys now, different partners. How what are the things? Can we put some controls? Whether they have access for all our code? See, we, we, we I can create so much panic. See, this is about, see, if I talk too much about security, all of you get, will get panic. I do not want to raise the panic level, but we need to at least think through in that level. Think through in that aspect. System planning, acceptance, and uh, backup, network security, media handling, malicious and mobile code, exchange of information, electronic commerce, electronic commerce services, monitoring. So all of these are different sections, classes, control objectives of information security, 2001. Access control, what are the things we have? User access management, what are the responsibilities? Network access control, operating system access, application access, mobile access, teleworking. Okay, how the internal systems are built, which is called systems acquisitions and development and maintenance. Correct, whether we are defining right controls for even while we are building our internal systems. How are we managing a patches of our system? If it is right, our smpgrc.com is not rightly patched. Somebody, some some customer, some hacker can come goof up, which will also impact the information security aspect posture of the company. So that's also part of the information security. That's the reason the vulnerability management system are whether all the machines are rightly patched. 
whether it's Ubuntu, Mac, or Windows, whether it's Sightly Patch, whether it has site licenses, all of it will come here. Okay, security events and weakness, security incidents and improvements, business continuity management. Why we need to have business continuity? That was, I think I have used this example many times. Flood, Zoho, kind of big company, how they continue their business. They have planned. They have some four people, five people, ten people, important people, important data center, access, remote access, VPN access, whatever. Yeah. So that, that planning should be there. That's what Carlos is about, business continuity. Business continuity have an important section called disaster recovery. Disaster recovery is nothing but tied towards business continuity. So disaster recovery is like once after that uh, incident happens, whatever we are doing after that incident is called disaster recovery. How are we making it up? After the incident happened, after the flood, how Zoho survived? Business continuity is about planning. Plan and uh, do things. Okay, and the complaints is about general other things. The implementation, how we are, how are we doing uh, implementation? So we need first understand the requirements and then understand the assert, understand the environment, prepare a plan, prepare a policy and plan for it, prepare the risk, prepare the implement and operate the ISMS, get themselves certified. Then analyze and uh, analyze the risk and exposure. This is how the ISO implementation uh, happens, and this is how all these things happen. See, every every stage of ISO ISMS implementation will have one output. One policy will come, one uh, set of uh, outputs will come. One stage will get a risk treatment plan. All of this can be accomplished through our product or GR, any GR system. All of the ISMS implementation can be accomplished through ISO uh, GRC products. So, in fact, it will help organizations who are avoiding improve their insurance liability rating, reduction in adverse publicity, freshness got DDoS attack, Zoho got DDoS attack, they don't have information security management system. They can be big companies, they don't have, they may be friends, mentors, but still, I can, I can, with all balls, I can say this. Because I have spent 10 years, I can say this. I have all rights to say. They don't have a foolproof information security management system. They have not planned for this, many of these things. Adverse publicity. You got DDoS attack, you have adverse publicity, negative publicity. It is not good. So try, try understand all of the stages. What is what is that beyond the certification? Beyond the ISO 27 certificate. What are the policies they can define? Disciplinary process, migration of software. How are we taking new software inside? So right now somebody is coming installing some software for access control uh, that mission. Whether that has anything, whether that is sending any other thing from that mission. So handling, how are we storing, taking care of that uh, storage of our important data? Okay, right now I am giving my all my LinkedIn contacts in a USB to Bullshit. But Bullshit is giving that USB to 10 people. Right now I don't care, but tomorrow I'll, I need to care. Yes, I need to care. So key management system, software change control, whether we have some right version control management system, whether we have some incident management. See, if there is an incident happening, how we can report? See identification of applicable legislation what is the law of the land india as a country as an indian it act there is cyber crime we were, we were interviewed for the same right by ndtv couple of days what is the law of the land which we need to follow okay and um, okay, there are a lot of policies which need to be got built and the procedures which need to be got followed a lot of things tons of things very interesting self-explanatory stuff try read read through very interesting numbers what is Japan? How Japan is leading? Okay, how the how how a lot of the regional share is there? All the stuff you pay, try to take a look. What are the different industries which are focused in the GIS twenty seven thousand one standard? Try to take a look. This is more for the sales aspect. So in India, who are the industries who got certified? There are 30, 340 companies who are supposed to be certified. What is the breakup? The three hundred companies are from IT industry. So try read it. See Vodafone how they got certified. What is their feedback? lot of these things, Russian bank, what is their feedback? A lot of these things you try read through. So a lot of these things are for self-explanatory purpose. PCDSS is a new standard which is aligned towards ISO 20001. How they have done? ISO 20000 is about ITIL. How ITIL probably help desk, fresh desk, all these guys are about ISO 20000. We are about ISO 20001. This is the small difference you can always relate. Freshness is about ISO 20000, which is nothing but IT service management. We are about ISO 20001, which is about information security management system. See, supply chain, 28000. We are building a product on supply chain risk management, which is nothing but 28000. 
and uh, yeah i think that's about it that's about this deck and uh, there are few other decks uh, how india is done how how iso 27001 as a standard is important for uh, small and medium business iso as a body has spoke about this why small and medium business need this okay a lot of nascam everybody believes that uh, for iso standard for smb will drastically change lot of things okay not much slides just four slides five slides okay this whole thing can it's a very lightweight reading whole whole of this deck and then then comes grc how the grc is tied towards iso it, it's, it's it, this is, these are the initial products what we visualized and tried building the integrated grc what we wanted to build so a lot a lot of information is there anyway i think i'll ask uh, i think you are uh, Yeah, running out of time. Sorry, Peter. We have a small birthday celebration there. Okay, so I'll just move there immediately. Yeah, got a cake. Yeah, yeah. Just sure. two minutes. We'll get sure. the cake cut. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's about it. Now yeah. I'm done actually. So you guys can try take a look. See, I'll put all you this. Share, huh? You can share the slides. Yeah, yeah. Surprise. Are they surprised?